Okay, so sit yourself on your left. Have a little wiggle about, just make sure that you feel evenly placed. Hold on to your knees. Hold on to your knees and feel that you can pull against the knees and lift and elevate the chest up towards the ceiling. So lifting the chest, broadening the chest, gathering your shoulder blades together. Look down at the floor, look at something that's not moving. Soften your jaw, soften your tongue in your throat. Spend a few moments taking deep inhalations and deep exhalations, filling the lungs from the bottom to the top, emptying the lungs from the top to the bottom. Just observing the sensations of your lungs filling evenly. expansion of the chest with the inhalation and the relaxation of the chest with the exhalation. Bring your hands into Namaste, press the palms firmly together, lengthen from the armpits consciously into the elbows. Giving yourself space in the armpit chest. And then with an exhalation, allow your eyes to gently close. Just feel that you fill up the lungs with energy. And each time you inhale, you inject a little more energy into the physical body. So our deeper than normal inhalations, deeper than normal exhalations, just bring in fresh energy from the oxygen that we inhale. Just allowing the body to absorb more oxygen with each inhalation. As long as there are no heart conditions or blood pressure issues at the top of the in-breath, just gently hold the breath. Just a suspension of the breath without any grip. Just for a second or two. With a normal exhalation following, just allowing you to absorb more energy with each inhalation. And then draw your chin down to meet your chest. Just normal breath without the retention. 
bring the chin into contact with the chest and spend a moment to seek to generate a genuine heartfelt sense of gratitude for something or someone or somewhere. Hold on to that feeling of abundance in the heart area as you release the backs of your hands down towards your knees, palms facing upwards, and then raise your head and allow your eyes to softly open. Just hold on to your knees. Just spend a moment just to observe the level of energy flowing through the body, whether there's any increase or decrease, or it's just the same. Take a deep inhalation, and then with the exhalation, turn to the right side. Just feel how your body responds to the turn, observing and respecting resistance. Just breathing normally, yet using the out breath to intensify your turn. Using the in breath to energize, using the out breath to power the turn. Come back to the center. Just hold onto your knees, lift up into the chest. Deep inhalation, and then with the exhalation, turn to the left. Energizing with the inhalation, powering the turn with the exhalation. And then come back to the center. Just hold onto your knees. Lift up into the chest. And again, just gauge your energy. Whether the energy changes oh, as a result of each of the poses or it stays the same or becomes less. Hopefully it doesn't become less. Maybe it increases with each different asana. Come down onto your knees sitting back on your heels just let your legs just adjust into this virasana shape without doing very much just allow the um the outer buttocks to slide into the inner buttocks so you draw the um that didn't make any sense at all did it outer buttocks slide into the inner heel so you kind of draw the inner heels around to the outer heels so that your little toe side of your foot really makes contact with the floor press the feet into the floor press the tops of the feet into the floor and then no notice that you immediately begin to lift up into the chest so press the tops of the feet into the floor press the shins consciously into the floor and then lift up into the chest, drawing the front chest upwards, drawing the back chest down. So we've got this kind of conveyor belt chest. Come forwards, hinging at the hips, keeping the seat bones down on the heels, pressing the palms into the floor, keeping that conveyor belt chest. So the chest is lifting, back chest is descending shoulder blades are drawing 
in towards the front chest. And with an exhalation, come down into Adam Mukhavirasana with the head down on the floor. You lose contact between the seat bones and the heels. Just reset the hands, just inch them a little closer to the body and then reactivate the arms. So the seat bones remain in contact with the heels. Just breathe evenly. Deeply press the forehead firmly into the floor so that the forehead skin feels as though it's, draw, it's kind of drawing downwards and gathering at the eyebrows. Pressing the forehead into the floor allows you to quieten the frontal lobes of the brain. If you can't get that good connection between the seat bones and the heels and the head at the same time, then put a block under your head. Breathing fully and deeply, keeping the arms extending, keeping the elbows, the outer elbows squeezing in towards each other. And then come up onto your knees. Just be on all fours for a moment. Just observe the quietness of the frontal lobes of the brain. And then turn the toes under. Have your feet as wide apart as your mat. And then bend your knees a little so that you can elevate the tailbone and the seat bones up to the ceiling. So that you can draw the shoulder blade region in. Maintaining focus on deep inhalations, deep exhalations, straightening the legs on an exhalation. So deep inhalations, bringing energy into the body. Use the exhalation to power into the pose. Just come down onto your knees and then just sit back on your heels and observe how your energy has changed. Keep inhaling deeply and using the out breath to distribute that energy around the body. Come up onto your feet and have your feet wide apart for Uttanasana. If you're protecting your back, go into half Uttanasana using your hands on the back of a chair or hands on some blocks. Otherwise, we can go into full Uttanasana. So turn the toes in, have the feet in line with the edges of the mat 
so that the big toes are turning inwards. Tighten your kneecaps and then raise your arms up to the ceiling. Breathing evenly and deeply. Hook the thumb into the crease of the opposite elbow or keep your arms straight if you're coming into half Uttanasana. So really activate your legs, tighten your kneecaps and then whichever version you're doing, hinge at the hips, keep the arms lifted, keep the head lifted, come halfway, stop halfway, take some deep breaths and then go down a little further with the out breath or reach down and find the blocks if you're doing half Uttanasana. So just hanging down, but engaging the breath. Can you inhale down into the toes, through, in, through the legs, down into the toes? So breathing in as though you're inflating a lilo. Breathing in and inflating the limbs, inflating the legs especially. Bringing energy into the legs. Using the out breath to extend the spine down towards the floor a little more. So whether you're doing half Uttanasana or full Uttanasana, engage the breath into the legs, into the toes, into the torso, into the arm, into the head. And then release your hands down to the floor. Just come into half Uttanasana using any blocks you might need for underneath your hands. Just extending the chin and the chest forwards. Continue to inhale into the limbs. If you bring the palms of the hands down, then do. Keeping the legs nice and straight, standing into the chest. And then bring your hands onto your hips, bend your knees on the way up if you need to, and then come up into Tadasana. So just come into Tadasana, inner edge of the feet together. Lifting up into the chest. Spend a few moments just to observe your energy, how your energy has changed. Continuing to breathe in all the way up to the top of the lungs and distributing that energy of the breath with the out breath into the limbs. Breathing into the legs and into the arms and into the head, distributing that energy with the out breath. Bring your arms out nice and wide, in towards the chest and then step or jump the feet apart, nice and wide with your legs, turn your left toes in, your right leg and foot all the way out, spreading the toes, turning the legs 
outward so that your hips come level left up into the chest stretch out into the arms take a deep inhalation breathing into the limbs and then go down wherever the next exhalation comes So look down, turn the chest up to face the ceiling, but look down and spend time with the breath. Just fill in the limbs with air. Power in those limbs with the out breath. Push the out breath into areas of resistance if there are any. Do you feel heavy on the right hand or are you extending up into the left hand? Now you see if you can reach down to touch the floor. With an exhalation, come up to the center, swap the feet around, turn the right toes in, the left leg and foot all the way out. And just reset your energy with your breath. This time go down on an in-breath, wherever that comes. Maintaining the length of the left side of the body as you go down, just look down, turn the chest, reach up into the top hand, fill in the limbs with the breath. Just be in the pose. So we're doing Feeling, seeing, breathing, being. Come up on an exhalation and then bring the feet parallel and then step or jump your feet back together. Just be in Tadasana and gauge your energy. Just like we were doing in Virasana. Just spend a little time just observing the energy of the body energy of the skin. Listen to the sound of the breath. So you might need a block for your hand on the right hand side of your mat and one on the left hand side as well. You may not need it, but it's useful to have it there. And then come back into Tadasana, just observing the energy of the body. So you can do Paj Vakanasana. Trying to work with the breath in the way that we're doing. Filling the limbs with the inhalation, using the exhalation to really power 
muscles to lighten the sensations within areas of resistance. Just observe your energy, observe the skin from the face to the feet. Bring your arms out nice and wide in towards your chest and then step or jump. Go a little wider than for Trikonasana if you can. Turn the left toes in, the right leg and foot all the way out. And then again, turn the legs outwards. So the chest, so the hips will face the front. Just breathing evenly and deeply. You're going to keep your left leg really straight. So really focus on the kneecap, tightening the kneecap. On an exhalation, go down into, into the Virabhadrasana stage. And then another out, out breath, come down, find the outside edge of the foot and then bring your hand onto your hip and just turn the chest. Sometimes it's useful to bring your hand onto the front of the knee just to really get that sense of turn. So look down, press that hand into the, the arm into the knee so that you can really rotate the chest rotate the top shoulder towards the back of the room just look down as your head in line with your foot just breathing evenly and then if you can just reach up and over breathing evenly Breathing into the limbs. And then come back to the center. Just swap the feet. Turn the right toes in. Left leg and foot all the way out. Breathe into the limbs, feel the lightness of the arms. Just keeping the right leg straight, bend, find that right angle. Reach down, just have your hand on your hip, just turn in the chest, bring your hand onto the big toe side of the foot so that you can push against the knee and then you can turn all the more. Just breathing evenly. And then reach over. Breathing into the limbs. Just bring the hand to the little toe side. Breathe into the limb. Come up on an inhalation. Bring the feet parallel. And then step. We'll jump the feet back together. Stretch your arms down, lift the chest. So just breathe evenly, feel perhaps that your heart has increased in tempo slightly. It's pumping oxygenated blood around the body, giving every cell of the physical body energy to perform optimally. So the deeper we begin to breathe, the more oxygen we ingest from the breath and the more energized the body becomes. So when we're breathing unconsciously, we don't really breathe very deeply. So the breath becomes shallow and the brain becomes tired. Whereas when we breathe deeply, the body becomes energized and the brain becomes focused. So 
step your feet hip width apart turn your toes in you can go into half feet to nasana again if you are protecting your back otherwise just bring the thumbs into the crease of the elbows wrap your fingers around your elbows extend your elbows up to the ceiling turn your toes in slightly really activate the legs take a deep body inhalation and then come forward hinging at the hips keeping the back straight as you come down and then just hang down in Uttanasana but with full body inhalations conscious exhalations that drive that energy evenly around the body exhalations that drive into areas of resistance Release your arms down to the floor and then walk your hands towards the end of your mat and come into dog down. Hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Just full body inhalations. Full body exhalations. And then gently come down onto your knees and then sit back on your heels. Spend a moment just to observe your energy. Just to feel the difference in the feeling of the skin. The difference in the feeling of lightness and liveliness on the inside. Feel that the body is full of lightness. Okay, we're going to go into a headstand. After all that, the headstand should go up quite, uh, you should go up quite lightly. If you're not doing a headstand, do Sapta Badakanasana. So you can just do the, the preparation stage if you prefer that's absolutely fine or do sub to badder cast and lay on your leg on your back with your knees close to the seat bones with the knees so with your feet close to, i'll show you i can't speak very well today but for some reason so sub to badder cast feet together feet as close to the seat bones as you can let the knees fall apart and then extend your arms along the floor so if you're not doing a headstand then do that otherwise just maybe fold your mat over i've got quite a soft floor so i don't need to and then prepare yourself for going upside down so just make sure that you prepare the shoulders if you haven't done a headstand before then just do 
Sapta Vadakanasana. So just make sure that your base is secure from the top of the head onto the floor. Make sure that your base feels secure and then come up into, into Shashasana or Sapta Vadakanasana, whichever feels right for you today. Continuing with the full body breaths. Breathing into the limbs, into the extremities. So if you're still in your headstand, just gently bring yourself down out of the headstand. And when you're down, come down into Adamuka Virasana. If you're in Saptabadakasana, just stay there for a little longer. So Sapta, so Adamuka Virasana. We have the fingertips on the floor, lifting the palms away from the floor so that you get, get space in the neck and the shoulders. Okay. And then just sit back on your heels. If you're in Sapta Badakanasana, just bring your knees together and bring yourself down out of the pose. And then come into, just sit directly out in front. Just sit with the, actually no, so let's sit with the legs wide. So Upavista Kanasana. So bring the feet wide apart. And then have your hands either side of the hips. Now, if you find that you kind of want to sink here, then it can be good to sit on a folded blanket just to give you a little extra, um, just a little extra lift. You'll need a belt handy. I don't know where my belt is. So you'll need a belt handy. So just lift up into the chest, get hold of the belt and then hold onto the belt, pull the belt really firmly, activate in the legs and then elevate in your arms up and over your head. You might want to bring the arms out a little wider just so you can really pull firmly on the belt. 
Lift up into the chest, Tadasana rise, the legs tightening the kneecaps, turning the fronts of the thighs inwards, lifting up into the chest. Full body inhalations. Full body exhalations. Breathing into the toes, into the fingers into the head. And then gently release the arms, get a couple of blocks. And if you've got a bad back, just stay at this stage, press in your hands on fingertips down onto the blocks and lift in and open in the chest. So if you want to come forwards, we can just walk forwards just a little bit at a time using the blocks. Just press in the palms of the hands onto the blocks, lifting the chest. So you just walk in the body forwards, just tadasana rising those legs. Make sure that the legs, are, the toes are pointing up towards the 12 o'clock point. Press the palms into the floor, lift up into the chest. Breathing into the limbs. If you can come down to the floor, then do. Keeping the head lifted. Keeping the legs firmly activated. Okay, and then just walk in yourself back. And then just bring feet in to the center. The Baddhakanasana hold onto the big toes. Just lift up into the chest. Draw the back chest down. Push your heels firmly together. Lift up into the chest, drawing the back chest downwards. Just listen to the breath. If there's no problem with your back, just start to come forwards, keeping the chest lifted. Coming forwards, lengthening the front, front chest forwards, drawing your elbows into your inner thighs, lengthening the inner thighs out to the sides of the room. And then release your feet and come forwards. Just a little bit at a time. It won't be as easy to come forwards as it was in Pavista, perhaps, but we can try it. So push the fingertips into the floor, lift the chest. Okay, and then gently come back to the center, and then come into the cross legs or into half Padmaster, which is uh, whichever is most comfortable for you. Just hold on to your knees, sit right on the tip of the seat bones. Just observe your energy, perhaps observe how your body feels different to how it did at the beginning. Take a deep inhalation, all the way down into the toes, into the arms, into the head, and then turn to the right with the exhalation.
Using the out breath to intensify the turn, just observing whether the spine feels any different to how it did at the beginning. Come back to the sense of lift up into the chest, driving the spine upwards, take a deep inhalation, full body inhalation, and then turn with the exhalation. And then come back to the center. Just hold onto your knees, lift up into the chest. Just feel how the spine energetically rises without any particular effort. Just that feeling of lightness on the inside, radiating out from the bones. So we withdraw our senses in order to not just do random shapes. We withdraw the senses in order to observe, stretch, but observe the outcome of the stretch. Okay, come down onto your back. Just get hold of the sides of the mat, at the sides of the hips. Really activate the hands, push, put, pull that, uh, hold onto to the sides of the mat like you want to tear it apart. Rotate the crease of the elbows up to face the ceiling really firmly. And then keep that firmness in the arms and in the spine and then bend your knees and extend your legs up into Viparita Karani. And if your arms and your spine are working, then the legs feel lighter. So just continue the full body inhalation. Okay, bend your knees, release your legs down to the floor, just release the hands, just come up onto your elbows, make sure you're in a really good straight line, come down onto your back, have a folded blanket from underneath your head, just make sure that it's well folded, if you're wearing glasses, just take them off just to allow your face to soften, just move your equipment out of the way. And then allow yourself to very gently release into the floor. Just full body inhalations. Gentler breathing, but still with the consciousness of 
drawing the breath into the limbs. Let go of the muscles of the arms and the legs, allowing the physical body to become heavy on the floor. And just observing that from that heaviness comes a deep lightness radiating out from the bones into the muscle and the flesh and the skin. Basking in that feeling of energetic lightness, that fullness of positive energy. And then when you're ready, just wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers. Just bring yourself back into this pose of Shavasana. And then draw your knees in towards your chest. Just have a little rock from side to side, from top to bottom. Just a gentle massage on the spine. And then very gently, just roll yourself onto your right side. Stay down for a breath or two. And then straighten out the top leg, come back up into a seated position. Just a final spinal lift with the hands in the masti, just a final spinal lift, drawing the breath in through the nose and down into the abdomen, the samanic breath. Which helps reveal your energy. Be conscious of the positive energy you released through your practice, that good, positive, clean energy from the extensions and the twists and the forward bends and the inversions and the reclining poses. And then draw your chin down to meet your chest. Spend a moment to acknowledge the positive energy you have created inside and then radiate some of that positive energy out into the world. the backs of your hands down towards your knees. As you raise your head, allow your eyes to softly open and the focus to softly come back. Thank you very much. Thank you. So hopefully you feel as though you've really inflated the body with good positive energy that you can put into your day. So thank you very much for joining.